Um, Senator, welcome. Thank Let's you, just talk you. about what you see playing out. When we talked to you last week, uh, you thought that this was going to be a little messy. You've said since that you thought Kevin McCarthy would not be the speaker and there would be someone else, maybe Scalise, who got named after four votes. Now we've seen six. What are you thinking? Well, I, I go back to that old Pogo cartoon where, <clears throat> where he famously said, we've met the enemy and he is us. Uh, the simple fact is that the Republicans have been given the reins to govern and they don't appear to want to govern. And uh, that's bad. It's uh, unfortunate for the Republican Party and it's not good for the Congress. Uh, whoever comes out of this is a speaker. There will be a speaker and it will be a Republican speaker. Uh, and it will probably, that person will probably be chosen this weekend. Uh, but that person isn't going to have any power. Uh, and it, the party has hollowed out the speakership and if you don't have strong speakers in the House of Representatives, you don't govern. Uh, I served a Tip O'Neill, who was incredibly strong. Uh, but, you know, Nancy Pelosi set a tone of strength, which was exceptional. Uh, the speaker, the, the House is traditionally an autocracy uh, where, where the party in power doesn't have to even acknowledge the minority party. Uh, and they, they march and sink and they get things done. That's obviously not going to occur with this Congress, and it's not good uh, for the Republican Party, which has been given a chance to govern again, uh, and it's not good for the country because a Congress which can't act over a period of a couple of years is not going to be healthy. Yeah. Uh, you, you look at the situation, what, what the 20 or so holdouts want, I mean... It looks like the list of demands keeps changing. Kevin McCarthy has given in to every one of those demands, and it looks like it's probably still not enough. The latest I've seen is that eight or ten of them would still hold out, even with all these latest crazy concessions that he's made. Well, um, yeah. What are you doing that? He's given him everything but the furniture in his office, and I suspect that's next. Uh, you know, the, the situation is that they just don't like him, some of these folks. And, and I sort of look at them as Robespierre Republicans, you know. I mean, they're, they're not there to govern. They're just there because they like revolution and they like chaos. And, uh, you know, governing is what it's all about in the end. If you're not gonna, just going to stand in the corners and shout, you're not going to contribute much to the nation's betterment. Uh, you got to get into the middle of the ring and mess it up and, and make some progress. And these folks aren't interested in doing that. Uh, and so as a result... Uh, I don't know that McCarthy can get to the speakership. Uh, somebody will get there, and, and it'll be a Republican, and obviously they're not going to cross the aisle to get votes because that would be extraordinarily destructive to the, to the purposes of why they were elected. So uh, it's just a question of who that person may be, and maybe McCarthy will pull it out. I mean, maybe at some point people will say enough's enough, and even the you hardcore... Uh, yeah, we'll, you, we'll you, you, I think you're an enabler, and you you've op you opened the door a couple of, you, for, right from the very start. You you it, you sort of said that McCarthy doesn't have what it takes. Yeah, yeah. well, uh, that's my that's view. Why? Uh, why, why? What? What's wrong with? <clears throat> I, and you, I, I don't think of you as a Freedom Caucus guy. I think you're closer to McCarthy, and he's probably right of you. Or, uh, no, yeah, I, he's I would de be voting. He's definitely right of you, which doesn't take much. Uh, that's very possible, but he's not right of not, my wife, Mrs. and I do whatever not she Mrs. tells Greg, me to do. Though. Not my friend, Mrs. <laughs> uh, So, Maybe no, I mean, the fact is, it would be nice to have a little more charismatic, stronger leader. I mean, the fact, the way he handled the Santa nice. situation, I thought was despicable. I mean, here's a guy who should have been, they should have called him up and said, listen, you're not a part, part of what we want as a party. Uh, and it didn't show leadership. And... Uh, that was the defining moment. If he wanted to be a leader, he should have said, I'm going to lead. 